What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released iOS 12.4.9 for older devices that are not supported on iOS 13 or iOS 14. And this update comes almost four months after the release of 12.4.8, which I did also cover here on the channel back in July. So of course, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at what's changed in this update, the performance, the battery life. We're gonna talk a little about jailbreaking and the security and if you should update or not. So anyways, taking a look at the size of this update, you can see here it's a very small size coming in just at 40 0.3 megabytes on my iPhone 6. It was around the same size on my iPhone 5S as well. So very small update. And if we go ahead and check out the build number in our settings general about, you can see the build number here is extremely short, probably the shortest I've ever seen, 16H5. That is the build number. So this could very well be the final version of iOS 12 that we ever see. I mean, based on that build number, I would not rule that out as a possibility. So very short build number there. And so what's actually new here in this update? And just like you know every other 12.4.x update, there's no visual change in 12.4.9. These updates are mostly just for bug fixes and security patches. And this update patches up some pretty interesting bugs. If we take a look at the security chart here or the security page on apple.com, they did post the security contents of iOS 12.4.9. And you can see here, there are quite a few things that have been patched up in this update. So we have a FaceTime bug here. We have a font parser bug that's been patched. And then we also have two different kernel bugs that have been patched in this update. So you can see here, both of these are from Google Project Zero. So very interesting. I don't think that either one of these bugs were used in a jailbreak. I don't think either one of these bugs were exploited for a jailbreak, but nonetheless, they have been patched in this update. And it's actually been a while since we've seen kernel patches in these iOS 12.4.x updates. I believe we have to go back to 2019 and that was the last time we saw a kernel, you know, multiple kernel bugs get patched in iOS 12. Now, if you're into jailbreaking and you're wondering about the uncover and the check range jailbreaks, just know that the uncover jailbreak did actually give me an error on 12.4.9. So I'm sure that will get fixed in the future, but just be aware that updating to 12.4.9 as of right now, the recording of this video on November 6th, uncover does not work on 12.4.9. However, if you use the check range jailbreak, that works just fine on 12.4.9. So the update, this update does not patch the exploit that was used in the uncovered jailbreak. So it doesn't seem to be a permanent error or anything like that for the uncovered jailbreak. Just right now, it does not work. And again, we do not have any visual changes or no new settings toggles or anything like that. We're not gonna get dark mode for the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 5S. None of those things are gonna happen, you know, this late in the game. I mean, we are years past iOS 12. It's really amazing that Apple is even still supporting, you know, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5S so many years later. I mean, Android and other operating systems would never have this happening. So it's pretty crazy that Apple is still looking out for iPhone 5S, iPhone 6 users, you know, with these security patches and even performance patches. So if we take a look at our Geekbench scores here, I actually scored higher in Geekbench on 12.4.9 compared to 12.4.8. So you can see here back in July, on July 15th, I scored a 300 and a 456, and now on 12.4.9, a 308 and a 582. So a much higher multi-core score there. And actually looking down back in March, this was I believe on 12.4.6. Yes, we actually had really high scores then. So I'm not really sure what's been happening with the decrease in performance, but it still looks like 12.4.9 may be just a little bit faster than 12.4.8. Although I've not really noticed any difference, you know, going from 12.4.8 to 12.4.9. But once again, I do not use these devices every single day. Obviously, you know, I have newer devices that I use on a consistent basis, but you may notice a performance bump with this new update. Now, as far as the battery life goes, battery life is probably gonna be about the same as 12.4.8. But once again, if you have an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 5S still, I mean, chances are that you already, you know, are prepared for bad or just mediocre battery life, at least compared to the new phone. So battery life is probably not really a big deal to most of you guys, but if it is, just do not expect any type of improvement here on 12.4.9. Again, this update and all previous 12.4.x updates are just simply bug fix updates and security patches. I mean, that's why the update size is so minor, you know, 40 megabytes, you're not really gonna see 
battery life or major performance improvements with such a small update in the size there. That really just shows that it was strictly bug fixes. And I did also want to mention that 12.4.9 seems to not heat up as much on my iPhone 6 or my iPhone 5S as it did in iOS 12.4.8. So I mentioned that in my 12.4.8 video because it would heat up a lot. It would get extremely hot on the back. But so far after using 12.4.9, even when I did the Geekbench test, it got hot, it got you know really warm, but it did not get extremely hot like it did on 12.4.8. That really you know concerned me on 12.4.8 how hot my devices got. But 12.4.9 may very well have fixed that because I've noticed less heat coming out of the phone after using it for pretty much a full day now. So now should you update to iOS 12.4.9? And I say, yeah, there's really no reason not to unless you rely on the uncovered jailbreak. So if you use the uncovered jailbreak, I would probably hold off at least until it gets fixed to work for 12.4.9. But if you use the check range jailbreak, that works fine on 12.4.9. So you can go ahead and update because the jailbreak still works. And plus you get some added security enhancements and possibly even some minor, very minor performance improvements and this update as well. So I say yes to update for most people. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was mainly for my iPhone 6 and my iPhone 5S or my old iPad users out there who are still on iOS 12. Again, it's crazy that Apple is still supporting iOS 12 so many years later. It's just insane in the best way possible. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up or if you weren't interested in this video at all, but you just came to support me and hear my voice, I would also appreciate a thumbs up and thank you to you for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it because I know not everybody is on these old devices still in 2020. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.